the final boss of harem enemy how long is this no oh no now before you judge this is exactly what it looks like that is this giguk is that the man the myth the legend giguk Harem genre is one of the most respected genres you can possibly find in anime, said absolutely no one. This is a genre people often put at the bottom of the barrel of entertainment, along with stuff like the isekai genre, which- True, because, because, because of horny. Give me one sec, chat. Let me get some water. Damn, bruh. Give me a sec. Oh my goodness. Okay. Which, hold up. Okay, there we go. Okay. I absolutely agree with. But recently, it feels like the genre is going through a bit of an evolution. No longer can you get away with some boring vanilla premise anymore. There needs to be some unique gimmick, like what if all the love interests were quintuplets? Or what if the winner was actually the loser? Or what if we have a show like Girlfriend Girlfriend, where a series said, instead of leading up to one single final winner, what if we just indulge in the harem? Because, boys, why set off one girl when you can have multiple? Oh, sit, snap, chill. But what if we could have more? What if two, three, or even four girlfriends wasn't enough? Well, right now we have a show so insane, so unhinged, we are now limit testing polygamy. A series about one man who found the infinite Riz glitch, became the apex of all boyfriends, and in the process may have pushed this genre to new heights. So if you looked at a series like Girlfriend, Girlfriend, and thought to yourself, Can we get much I present to you so the hundred high. girlfriends who really, 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 really love you. But if 100 girls... Man, look, this show, I haven't watched it, but I could just think to myself, ain't no way in hell would I ever want to be in a scenario where I have, you know, 100 girlfriends. Man, I don't even want to be in a scenario where I'm with freaking two girlfriends because I feel like it's just too much. Well, still isn't enough for you to choose from, then don't worry, because we have today's sponsor, Arc Recode. Now, fair warning that this is going to be for distinguished gentlemen and ladies above... Oh my goodness!
of the age of 18 only, as it's a new apocalyptic strategic mobile adult RPG. Listed oh. by Aerolabs, Arc Recode allows you to lead a squad of sexy, charming girls on an epic quest. In the year 2122, an unknown entity from the far corner of the universe sends an apostle to Earth to wipe out humanity. So nope, 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 nope. You're not going to catch me, Giga. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Of at least one pause. Nope. Time by confessing to the girl he likes and asking nope. her out. And, uh... Nope. She says no. This marks a new record for him, as he's now been rejected a hundred times ever since his first confession when he was just eight months old. That's right. My boy's been trying to chat up girls before he achieved object's permanence. His friends give him a parting gift. A knighthood. Dubbing him Sir Bitchless. Baron of Forever Singleton. <laughs> Yeah, man, they have no chill. So feeling like all hope is lost, he turns to the one and only thing that can possibly flip his life around and score him a girlfriend. Divine intervention. And somehow, it worked. At a shrine he's praying at, he meets God, who informs Rentaro that he made a little oopsie. He's accidentally given him 100 different soulmates who he's going to be meeting soon. Jackpot, I hear you say. Think of all the girls. Think of all the choices. Oh, by the way, any girl that Rentaro doesn't choose will die. Bummer. You're capping. Who should he pick? Who should he reject? No. For real? Is that really the premise of the show? They'll die? Oh, nah. No wonder he got to stay with all of them. He don't want any of them to die. So, yeah, all oh my girls. And the consequences, with a matter of life or death, the prospect of having blood on his hands, he stands up, faces the music, and makes the decision only a true protagonist can make. If the girls I don't choose dies, there is only one choice to be made. They're all I mine. I will date all of them. <laughs> all of them. The show is fucking stupid. The harem genre has never exactly been the benchmark of highbrow entertainment. So for those who don't normally indulge in it, you may not understand what the appeal is. Is it for the romance? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It's it's not for the romance. I've already watched like two, three different clips from this show. It's literally, I think, for the fan service. No. Harem anime are sports anime in disguise. Let me say that again. Harem anime are sports anime in disguise. <laughs> Find me another genre where you see weebs forming different teams based on picking a side they really want to win and completely investing themselves into cheering for that side's victory, staying dedicated throughout the entire run of the series while shitting on any supporters on the opposing sides. Fuck you, man! This is more of a sport than actual sports anime. You have the glory supporters. Now these are the fuckers that pick one of the first girls that are introduced that are almost always guaranteed to be the winner. They know the rules, first girl wins is the bookie's favorite and they're happy to play the odds. Then you have the fans of the local teams. These guys think they're above supporting the big brand's mainline girls so they'll cheer for their second tier side character girls that were introduced in the mid game. They want to feel better by picking the girl that no one else is picking and maybe, just maybe, this time the girl actually has a chance of winning. <sighs> like any sport, you follow your team through to the end no matter how many years it takes no matter how many hundreds of chapters until eventually a single girl gets picked if it's your girl you celebrate in euphoria you had the best taste your girl got the ending she deserved and like any true sports fan watching your girl win is as sweet as laughing at anyone now on suicide watch for backing the losing horse but if your girl lost there's only one thing you can do come together with your fellow degenerates and cry about it together you'll tell yourselves it's all right she deserved better than that bland protagonist anyway, right? <laughs> and that moment will become a scar you carry that will be forever etched yeah. in the hearts of fans like any sporting event. Falcons blew a 28-3 lead. PSG blew a 6-1 lead. Is this true? This is how everybody sees like harem animes. Like when that one girl doesn't get with the protagonist, they'd be like, man. Oh, you know what I could think of as a perfect example for this show? What is that show? The one with the isekai where the girl had the blue hair and her sister had the pink hair. And then everybody was like fiending for the blue haired girl to be with the protagonist. But then something happened. ReZero. That's what it was, bruh. Everybody was losing their mind for that blue haired maid, bruh. The quintuplets and they made me laugh. She got cucked. I heard some shit like that happen. Eat. Rui blew Natsuo, then gave him to a vegetable. This is the foundation of a harem series. So how can a series in the genre work where every girl is the winner? Every girl gets picked. There is no losing team because everyone immediately wins. Why well, you make fun of all that shit? Let's be real, when you're watching a series about some plain, boring ass guy with average looks suddenly having a bunch of hot girls all fawning and fighting over him, you aren't exactly coming into this for some realism you can relate to in your own life, right? Oh god, this flatlining! 
<laughs> With harem anime, your suspension of disbelief has been pushed Yo. beyond the stratosphere already. So to parody it, 100 Girlfriend goes, let's just completely obliterate that. Everything. Everything has been exaggerated to the point of insanity. Plot, design, characters. We don't yes, I noticed that, bro. Like, like, I feel like they, they took this show and they cranked it to 11. Like, this show was insane, bro. At this point, you might as well... Make this shit into a hentai low key. Five girls or ten girls, we have 100 girls. Karane isn't just a tsundere, she's a turbo tsundere. Shizuka isn't just shy, she's turbo shy. Hikari isn't just horny, she... Super horny. ...is Lisa on Genshin Impact. The series takes all the most ridiculous tropes and cliches we see in the genre, dials a knob up to 100, fucks around and finds out. And you know what? It actually works. There's a scene early on where the characters have gotten into a bit of a conundrum. Rentaro has successfully convinced the first two girlfriends to date him. Simultaneously. Mission accomplished. But there's a problem. This is a romance anime. And what's the most important endgame achievement for any romance anime? That's right. Sharing the first kiss. But how can you share a first kiss when you have two girls you love equally oh to receive that Lordy kiss? Lord. Sounds like we got ourselves a little bit of a pickle here, lads. So the girls have a full 1v1 fox only Was final that cool, girlfriend off. Trying to out-girlfriend each other so only the superior girlfriend will be the lucky recipient of that first kiss. But no, there is no unfairness. No infighting allowed in the rent row family so the giga chad himself has the perfect solution coin toss rock paper scissors nah he devises a system where they split up and stand up at randomized points based on a dice roll they are all blindfolded having music blaring in their ears at full blast he rolls a dice waits a random number of seconds based on that dice roll so neither girl knows if he's waited a long or short time then rolls again he goes left if it's odd right if it's even kisses the girl then moves on to kiss the other girl once he's finished he returns to the starting position and bobs your uncle the first kiss with each girl has been accomplished and neither party knows Knows who the first kiss was with. This is the first kiss equalizer. Five this is one of the sanest things you ever see in the show. Does this mean it's a show that's above showing fan service because it's meant to be parodying Harem? <laughs> this was the clip I saw on Twitter. <laughs> I saw this shit on Twitter no, and I was like, what the, the fuck? Genre without being overly reliant on cheap shots because the biggest compliment that was the I clip. Give it is that beyond being just a parody, the cast have genuine chemistry with each other. Always Sunny, Parks and Recreation, Peep Show. A lot of my favorite sitcoms have a core cast that already works so well with each other. So the secret is just putting them in different situations to see how they'd act. And 100 Girlfriends is like putting an all-you-can-eat buffet of every insane character trope you see in anime in the most unhinged situations you can think of and seeing what kind of insanity would and sue. The girls play off each other as much as they do rent a row. They fight with each other, banter with each other, sincerely care for one another. Every girl has a different dynamic with every other girl, and partway through the series, the harem starts acting more like some dysfunctional family than anything else. When I started this series, I thought it was going to be some low XD silly meme show with a funny gimmick that I would get bored of after a few episodes. But after I caught up to the anime and realized that wasn't enough, I started blasting through the manga, and it was around Girlfriend 12 that it slowly started to dawn on me that, holy shit, this isn't just a gimmick. These mad lads are actually committing to the idea. You'd think with such a batshit crazy concept, it'd be easy to just rush through it. Introduce a bunch of girls and relegate most of them to background NPCs to let a select few Wait shine. a minute, so now here's my question. There, He's only up to 12 girls right now and, and there's supposed to be 100? Oh my god, this show's gonna take forever. But as you continue reading, you see the You said no, that's 27? He's up to 27? Every single one of them. Every girl gets a time to shine. Not a single one of them is some half-baked stereotype. Even if they start off with some trope you've seen before, the series takes its time to get you to care about- That's a grown-ass woman! What the fuck is going on? Each and every one of them as a person. <laughs> this is one of those shows that tells you not to take it too seriously, then triples what the, the fuck, fuck down bro? on She's 66? moments you weren't expecting to Damn. make it hit even harder. And for any other harem manga, this would simply what collapse the under the weight of its own ambition, but 100 Girlfriends has the glue- He gets with one of their moms? Moms? Oh my god, bro. Yo, this man's testosterone levels gotta be at 200,000, bro. It's everything together. Michael Jordan, Lionel Messi, Muhammad Ali, Tiger Woods. What do they have in common with Aijo Rentero? That's right. They're the goats of their respective positions. I mean, with multiple women. My man saw Japan's population crisis and said, fine, I'll do it myself. Here is someone in line to father more children than Genghis Khan. And you know, Genghis Khan himself once said, and I quote, the greatest joy for a man is to defeat his enemies, to drive them before him, to take all they possess, to see those they love in tears, to ride their horses and hold their wives and daughters in his arms. So clearly, Genghis played League of Legends, but Rentaro isn't a toxic gamer like that. He captures the hearts of women by being the best damn boyfriend is actually possible to be. If there was a complete antithesis to Kazuya, Rentaro would be it. He doesn't just show love to his girlfriends, he downright worships his girlfriends. Every single one of them. 
equally. And you know what? He fucking deserves it. Here is a man who has only known rejection in his life. The Giga Chad confessed a hundred times, failed 100 times, and didn't let that phase him. Where every other harem protagonist takes 200 chapters to come to terms with their feelings, Rentaro only knows the pain of unrequainted love and will go to any lengths to make sure his loved ones don't feel that same thing. One of his potential girlfriends suffered from crippling shyness. She was a background character, and just by getting a bit of attention, she would disappear. All she could muster up was the strength to confess behind a wall, and that was okay. That was all she needed to be satisfied before she would fade away again. And she did. She would never be seen again, it was said, as the chapter comes to an end. Really? Only for Rentaro to rip the manga pages to shred. No way, he broke the fourth wall and he ripped it? Forced the chapter to keep going, goes literally superhuman looking for her. He forced the chapter to keep going? That's cool as hell, I like it when shows do that. He broke the fourth wall. And didn't stop until he could say, I love you, bitch. This I is love a man you, who bitch. Would shatter the fourth wall, literally bend the laws of reality to make every single one of his girlfriends happy. He is the apex boyfriend every boyfriend aspires to be, and under his watch, there is no best girl war. Every girl is equally loved. All girls are best girl. There is no contest. If the readers want to vote on their favorite, he will literally rig the vote so every single one of the girls get the same amount. In the harem series containing the harem of harems, theoretically the most ferocious battlefield you'd be able to find in anime, he's achieved the waifu world peace. Now if that's not real power, I don't know what is. 100 Girlfriends is truly an enigma, a series with an insane premise that actually fully commits to it and delivers where most of the series in the genre is parodying fails. Currently, we're about 150 chapters in and about 26 girlfriends have been introduced at the time of recording. Yes, we are only just over a quarter of the way through and the author has said they are fully dedicated to getting that full 100. So no matter how many more hundreds of chapters or years- That's what I'm saying. Somebody in the chat says that they're up to 26. So we might expect like another couple years of them milking like, you know, all the other girls that get introduced. And then here's the thing too with the show. They could keep on recycling the same 26 girls for like a year or two if they want to. And then decide to be like, all right, let's put five girls now, he five can new girls in. Goku. He can impregnate Goku, uh-oh. Is I have nope. to wait? You bet your ass I will be sticking with this, whatever the end game of this harem looks like. I ain't got my glasses. How much are these? Nine ninety nine. You think I can get some bitches with these? True, will Rentaru get a hundred girlfriends before Luffy finds the One Piece? Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much this month to Author Curtis Eckstein, Basil, Dysfunctional Degenerate, Flabberwocky, Husbando Hub, Mike808, Misaka12315, Pain Patchett, Pony Stark, Shouting Zombie, Walter Geist VT, and everyone else on my Patreon for helping to support me for this month and making this video possible. After this video, I realize I think I may have an addiction to manga with the word girlfriend in it. And I have no idea why. Domestic girlfriend, rent a girlfriend, a hundred girlfriends. I'm sure there's another girlfriend I'm missing. Um, yeah, I have a problem. Oh God, they've discovered the secret to make me read the manga. Anyway though guys, hope you are ready for this Christmas holiday. This is going to be the last video this year before my best of anime of 2023 coming out in January next year. I'm going to be enjoying my Christmas holiday as well. So hope you do as well. Anyway though, that's been it from me. I've been Giguk and I'll see you all next time. But then here's my question, right? With the rent a girlfriend thing, or not not rent a girlfriend, but this anime, the 100 girlfriends, right? This shit is gonna be insane in terms of merchandise. You gotta make merchandise for each one of those girls when that show eventually gets finished. And then people online are gonna be like, nah, I need this girl from season four, episode six. That's my favorite girl. And then this is where the waifu wars actually happens within the internet, where they're gonna be like, hey man. You like this girl from season one, episode six, but season two, episode four, this girl is a million times better than that basic bitch. And then that's where online fights are going to start. You said they already did? Hey, man. Hey, man. That's going to be a lot of, um, damn. Smasher pass. Smasher pass all a set 87 attack on Titan characters. Bro, what?